Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the new features in Split Animator 1.1, the template that brings easy to use menu driven split screen animation to Final Cut Pro 10. In 1.1, two new animation modes have been added, zoom and rotation. And each of these can be used either separately or together with each other and the position animation options. Let's look first at zoom. I'm going to use the C1 module as a starting point. Let's set the position animation to no position animation so we can see the result more clearly. Now all I have to do is set the zoom arrive scale to minus 100 and play back the result. As you can see the split screen element zooms up from nothing to its final position. And instead of zooming upwards from small to large, I can just as easily use the same arrive scale slider to set a positive value, say 120, to achieve the opposite effect. Now let's look at the rotation options. As you can see, you can control the X, Y and Z rotation with each of the relevant sliders. I'm going to set my scale animation back to zero just so we can see what's going on. And then I'll adjust my Arrive Y rotation slider to 90 degrees. Remember that X rotates around the horizontal axis, Y around the vertical axis, and Z around the axis that runs from front to back. Let's play back the animation and see what happens. And now let's duplicate the layer a couple of times to fill out the top row of my split screen. To get everything lined up, I'll change the X position of the second layer to zero, and the third layer to plus one. Now I'll offset the layers in time. I'll move the second layer four frames later and the third layer eight frames later. And we'll play it back. You'll see that the rotation is happening around the center of the image. But what if we wanted to change that? Well, all we have to do is come down to the anchor point pop-up menu and select a different option. I'm going to pick left edge for my bottom layer and right edge for my third layer. Now let's look what happens. The two outer frames rotate about their edges like an opening door. Let's quickly look at some of the other anchor point options. I'm going to delete the top two layers and reset the Y rotation. This time I'm going to go with a Z rotation of 90 degrees and I'm going to choose one of the corner options. Let's go with top left corner. And now for fun, let's put it all together. Position, zoom and rotation. We'll go back to our three layers and we'll set the first layer to rotate through 180 degrees on X, leaving the default position animation of from left. The second layer will have arrived from the bottom and rotate through 180 degrees on Y. And for our third layer, we'll have no position animation, a zoom up from minus 100 and a rotation of 360. Now let's look at it all together. OK, so you probably won't want to do anything quite that crazy, but you can see that the range of options available to you is now massively increased, making split screen animation easier than ever. Before we finish, let me just mention two other new features. The first is the animation ease function, which allows you to change the animation profile from linear to ease in and out using one or other of the two sliders. And the last new feature I'll mention is the enhancement to the border options. You can now choose the border blend mode from this pop-up menu of standard blend options, and you can control the feather of the border as well as the feather of the image mask. Let's look at a quick example. I'm going to use C1 again and I'm going to position it at 0 on X and 0 on Y. And I'm going to fatten my border to 75 pixels. I'm going to pick this grass color of the image and I'm going to set the border blend mode to linear dodge. Now I'll set the mask feather to minus 75 and you can see that I'm starting to get an interesting look. There really isn't time here to go into all the permutations as there really are a vast number to choose from. It's well worth playing around with these new features and seeing something that you like. 
I hope you've been able to see just how simple to use this new version of Split Animator can be, and at the same time how much power you've got at your control. Thanks for watching.